Welcome back to Beautiful Desolation. The end of the last episode, we got access to the Casus uh, Archives, I think they're called. And we're looking for some maps to figure out where the rift might be. And we get to play as Pooch. Or do we? Oh, there we go. Couldn't move for some reason. Object detected. Structure. Electrical. Integrity 54%. Oh, I love this. The descriptions match what Pooch sees. That's how they look at the world. Structure. Wood. Dwelling. Integrity 94%. Structure, wrought iron. Oh man, this weird kind of fisheye lens we have is nauseating. <laughs> when we move at least. I love them trying to talk themselves up. Communication network. So that's the receiver. Senegalia, Senegal. Acacia. Ossified. I think that's where I'm supposed to go, over there. So I'm not going there. Skins. Ovis Aris. Tanned. Meat. Ovis Aris. Domestic sheep. weirdly sticky. Yeah, once again, I'm clicking all over here and they don't move until I click really far away and then they do. Citrus, sinensis, sweet oranges, rotted. I don't want to run because it's extra nauseating, but our walk cycle without running is really slow. Back to the beginning. Does this go back down to where we came from? Because we also have this mysterious red button. Okay, yeah, that kicks us out. Let's go back in. Can, can we go back in? So what does the red button do then? Oh. Heat vision. It looks really cool. 
Wonder what this might help us find. Makes everything extra nauseating. So, success, time belief. That's what we came here to do, right? I don't suppose that's changed the situation over at the place I couldn't enter up here. Nope. I think we have to head to the Cheese and Yama next, but first, Shongololo. Shongololo, are you awake? Hello? Ah, who's there? I am Shongololo. Last of the living trains, have you visited me for treasure? I will tell you where I saw gold once. I have no need to covet sparkly things. I was having a lovely dream about gold and about her. Gold? Tulip. She speaks to me, you know. I was pondering the first time we truly bonded. Those red aglets thought it was amusing that I, the last human train conductor, should become their first living train. They engineered this living locomotive out of me, turned me inside out. They twisted my flesh, broke my bones, and bound me to this metal prison. I never screamed. I laughed. I rejoiced. You rejoiced? That sounds like torture. I must tell you, friend. I must share this with you. Fine. Do you know why I rejoiced? I'm going to tell you. I knew this was the very train that Tulip had ridden all those years ago. They reconstituted it into my superstructure. And now I knew that my Tulip would be with me forever. And I with her. Go now. I have told you everything I know or care to share. Let an old train rust. In peace. Ooh, got an achievement. Nice guy. Entertain Shongalolo is what the achievement says. I wondered how long we'd have to come back here before they ran out of stuff to say. The pebble returns to the pond. The plants surrounding our humble village have seemed a little brighter since you came into our lives. We trust that your travels have been fruitful. Is there any way that our spirit circle can help your spirit circle? The Caicos. They may know about your tear. Ah, yes. We have suspected for some time that they know the way into Leal. Beautiful creatures of the trees. The Caicos Collective no longer speak with the Chisenyama. They are truly children of the old gods, born of metal and flesh and forged in the ether. We miss them and their insights into the world. What happened? A misunderstanding that set the Caicos on a different path. Before we went into hiding behind our shields, we placed transmitters around the world to ensure we could still commune with the old gods. Our holy shrine of communication is at the center of our village. The cake has discovered one of our transmitters in the forests of Saxon Wald. The voice of Dullahan was one of your transmitters? 
we were caught off guard when they began to call it the voice of the Dullahan. The old gods would have disapproved of this idolatry. The Dullahan is a false god. The Kekes were searching for meaning, for purpose in their lives. We gave it to them. They wanted to explore the world again, to search for new places and make new discoveries. Through the Kekes, the old gods had provided us with a way to search for Leal while we remained protected. Impersonating their gods to get them to do your hard work. <laughs> That's quite smart. At the time, we saw it as a means to an end. We were wrong. We see that now. It is our greatest shame. We wish for forgiveness. When we discovered we could control the Kekes drones directly, we began to use them as our eyes and ears to the world outside of our shield. We pray the old gods understand our desperation. We left the Kekes in the eater for too long, pushed them further and further, and soon the voice of the Dullahan fell silent. They have been quiet ever since. This is our sin. Please do not think less of us. We were longing to find our gods and rebuild our tribe. Could I have access to the transmitter? Just to check it. Please feel free to look at the transmitter. You will see that it has no connection to the Kekes. Pray do not think less of us for this. It hurts to speak of. Please, leave us to once again beg forgiveness from the old gods. Whoa. <laughs> Neural interface active. Place face in mask. This mask is coated in blood. Nasty. Are we can... Yeah, we're controlling them. Now we can go here. Holy shit, this is weird. <laughs> oh, we can float. Can we just go off the path? Slag, Noxious Gate Slag, there's the Tear in Vesta. Download it all? Did we get all those locations? Yeah, tons of locations. Old Ark and Vesta. Hulkhead Hangar. Didn't we already have that one though? Flay Scoria Slag, definitely didn't have that. Noxious Gate Slag. I guess drones recharging. Damn, so many drones. Initiate self-destruct sequence? No. Uh-uh. Why, why would I do that? I'm scared that that's an option. This must be the main computer. What did we just do? <laughs> Flew up into the wall. God, we are such a weird, disgusting, floating gas bag. It's like we're decomposing and these machines are sucking the noxious fumes out of us. I don't think there's anything over here to see. Hi. I could just 
exit, but I'm curious if there's anything we can do out here that we couldn't before. This pooch. Whoa. I'm gonna do it off camera. Mark, I think we should give this to the Anasi. They have an addiction. They just want to live normal lives. I accidentally closed out of it. I didn't properly explore everything. I just accidentally pressed exit and we have a conversation to go through. I'll go back in in just a minute. Yeah, but I don't know if this will help them. It would help them negotiate with a Chisnyama. Give them a bit of leverage. I don't trust those Jose. Something about them. They're drug dealers, Mark. And worse, they're making drugs that give the Hanasi false hope. They're holding the memories of their families hostage with the stuff. Just think about it before you make a choice. Give the data to Uthi. She just wants to take care of her people. She wants to give them hope. Don't take that away from them. Yeah, I think they're right. I think I am going to give it to Uthi. Scanning for poisons. Oh no, remote link blocked. Well, I hope there was nothing else in there. Can I do something that helps everyone? Can I help them both, or do I have to choose one? Before I make any big decisions, let's explore some of the new places. So, Hawkett Hangar, yeah, we've already been there, but... Train tracks? We've been in the train station, but not train tracks. Control, come in. Control, come in. Cold man, I can buy the cigarettes now. I think that's literally the only thing left for me to buy that I know of. Oh, these literally look like massive dandelions. So cool. Gold skull. In areas where the mist is thickest, strange looking oversized flowers have bloomed. Did you hear something? Flat topped rock rises above the rough grass. Oh my god, the size of these tracks. These flowers are weirdly beautiful, but unsettling. The tracks are rusted with age and disuse. Let's get some cigarettes. Two credits and two credits. Hey, Keith. Let's see. What was that girl's name in school? The one on the hockey team? Yeah, Marita Meyer. Marita Meyer. The Meyer sisters. I always liked her. She would share Sammies with me when mom didn't make lunch. When did mom ever skip on making lunch? Well, never, but Marita didn't know that. <laughs> I got to share lunch with a pretty girl and eat a bit extra. Charlize is at nursing school with Marita. 
She went to work at Baraguan at hospital. I can imagine those two being friends. They both loved animals. I thought you would become a vet. Yeah, they both wanted to help people. Charlie's patched me up a few times, eh? She was a good person. Always nice to me. <sighs> it was thanks to her being so nice that she was in the car with me that night. I loved her, Marky. I miss her. We've still got a lot of ground to cover. Let's go. There's the cigarettes up there in the top right. Nice. For display purposes only. Back in Vesta, we have a ton of new places to visit. Well, I guess just two here, but we also have an entire new region with four, eh, three places to visit. Not counting the Warden, it's not really a place. So over here, we have Old Ark 1 and the Terror. I think that's all the new ones. Yeah. Let's check out Old Ark 1. Love a nap. The feathery white blossoms look out of place among the colorful foliage. Ah, crap. I think I stepped in something. The blooms have a strange, sweet fragrance. Look at these lines of plants, I think. They almost look like paths. The Ark wasn't strong enough to withstand the rigors of its voyage. that take item okay it looks like it's rippling though and distorting space time what is that that's not just gold portal spawner a sleekly designed tool is apparently pivotal in briefly expanding on an existing space time tear I guess I Assume I need that for the tear to open it further. Well, it's handy that we just found that laying on the ground. <laughs> Let's go to the tear now. It's not letting me do anything. Let me save first and I guess try to use the portal spawner on it. Oh. Guess it worked. Oh my god, this is cool looking. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, so many new new locations to check out. Moss. I'm detecting red mercury in here. A 
tapestry of dripping lichen spreads its way over the surface of the space station module. Oh, look at these tendrils coming out. This place is extra alien looking. Scanning for radio signals. A cave gapes in the dense overgrowth. Spongy growths climb upward through the moist air towards the light. Clumps of damp moss cling to the rusting capsule. This place is messing with my allergies. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> There's a lot of things in the air. Also, we can talk with you. Hello. Can you understand me? Can you speak? M A R K, Mark. And you, do you have a name? Okay. Uh, right. Let's get out of here. What in heavens? I think that's it. <laughs> I love those. They look like squid, but they're in the air instead of water. <laughs> this looks dangerous. Nest Alpha. and zeros. I could translate that, but I'm not going to, but I wonder if it says something. It probably does. Fuck this goat. <laughs> Icy slopes rise in the distance. Fleshy organic thing. A plant-like creature held fast by electrical wires. Looks alien in this cold world of metals and mechanics. Swarms of tiny mechanical robots toil away like bees, constructing the environment around them. The frigid air around the pylon crackles with electricity as the current surges through it. Space station's exterior glistens with ice. We need to get out of here. We can talk with them? Are you? We are nest. You are not nest. 
May we scan you to determine your origins? This scan will not be invasive. We assure you that we will not harm you. I would feel a bit better if I knew more about you before you uh, scan us. We understand. We are Nest. We are a nanotech life form originating from the Alexis Sunset Space Station. As part of Experiment 1436, headed by Dr. Anna Taylor. May we scan you now? Yeah, let's call it a sign of mutual trust. Scanning. Please hold still. Scanning. Thank you. We have conducted our scans. You appear to be Homo sapiens. You are of the same species as Dr. Anna Taylor. Have you come to complete 1436? Nah, sorry, we don't know anything about a Dr. Anna Taylor of 1436. Since you are not a member of the Alexis Research Program, you are not authorized to access any of the research. But as it has been determined that the experiment may soon hit a critical failure, we will add you to the research roster. Please state your name so that you may be granted researcher privileges. My name is Mark Leslie. This is my brother Don Leslie and our companion Pooch. Thank you, Mark Leslie. Your name has been added to the research roster. 1436 has encountered an unforeseen failure. We have documented 73,612 cycles of ongoing procedure. We have generated 18 billion gigawatts of information. After reaching our maximum storage capacity, we used this plant-based life form's dense neural pathways to store our information overflow. Now wait, let's go to the beginning. What is 1436? 1436 is a terraforming experiment led by Dr. Anna Taylor. Combining the nodec life forms with bioengineered plant spores, macro-environmental changes could be made. The combination of freezing temperatures in a vacuum facilitated the fusing of nano and biotechnology. The experiment was moved to the Alexis Space Station. After an electromagnetic pulse disabled communication with SISA Earthcom, the Alexis Space Station experienced a critical failure. After high orbit degradation occurred, the station broke up in the atmosphere upon re-entry. The main research laboratories were contained to this crater. 1436 continued to operate for 8,934 days until an unforeseen failure occurred. What sort of unforeseen failure? The nest in the southern mountains disagreed with us. Their refrigeration systems are powered by a slowly diminishing red mercury core. Our cores were also failing. Nest cannot survive outside of freezing temperatures. We designed and engineered a device to create microclimates, which would allow the continuation of 1436 and the gathering of data. They saw this as a way to rapidly expand from our respective landing sites. Simulations indicated an environmental catastrophe. When we refused to hand over the device or transmit the plans, we were cut off from the Nest Shared Intelligence Network. I'm sorry to have your problems with your brothers in the South. We thank you. It has been difficult. A part of us has been severed. In cutting us off, the two are weaker while their 
refrigeration towers are powered by the Alexis Space Station's Red Mercury Core. They have lost something. Removing us from the network has resulted in a loss of their ability to replicate or create. They got desperate. They needed the device to expand. We held on to it in the hopes to barter a truce. Our brothers employed the services of a wandering agnate, a self-proclaimed medicine man. It gained our trust and then stole the device. However, as they have not managed to expand their borders, we believe that they never received the stolen device. With their red mercury power core slowly depleted, we know that they will soon die. How soon? 7,300 days. Self-proclaimed medicine man and an agnate. I think I know exactly who that is. That doctor, the only doctor that we've met so far. Is there a way we could help? We have reached an impasse with our brothers. We know that we just need to wait them out. Once that happens, the experiment will be marked as failed, and we can disassemble. In cutting us from their network, and sending an agnate thief into our home, they have made us an enemy. The preservation of the data from 1436 and the long-term survival of the environment are of paramount importance. It is why we exist. We must enter a low power regeneration cycle. Please return later. New location nest beta. What are these things? The dark slopes of the mountains are peppered with fresh snowdrifts. Like a colony of motorized termites, these cold creatures busily terraform their surroundings. Is that a person? There's a person right there. But they look frozen, frozen stiff. Not moving, not breathing, but that is absolutely a person. What the hell? Weird though, there's no comment about it. Can't examine it. A thin coating of frost is formed on the slick surface. Is this where we just were, or...? Okay, yeah. This place is confusing. I thought we were getting really close to the end of the game, but seeing all these new locations added, there's still a lot more. So we just left Nest Alpha, and this is Nest Beta. 
All right. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when we return, we're going to check out Nest Beta.